Okay, this is a step-by-step -step video. First, mount your scope on the jig, or you can shoot this. I'm gonna throw a video in in a few minutes of shooting, but let's talk about the jig. Get everything level, that's why we have a level. You're gonna physically take a tape measure, like that one right there, and you're gonna go down range and measure your distance, 25 yards, 75 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards, whatever you do, get a physical measurement. So this one ended up being uh, 49.3889 as far as yards go. So we're gonna use that in a minute, I'll explain that. So measure from the center of your turret. You'll notice I actually have lines on this jig, excuse the Alabama gnats, but these lines, we line them up with the turret itself and that is where we measure from. Measure from the turret down to the target, okay? Then what you're gonna do is put our, tar our tall target test on there and you're gonna put this at the very bottom of the tall target test, your crosshairs, and you're gonna dial 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you want, but you're physically watching the travel of the crosshairs. Okay, I'm gonna go back up and zero. And looking through it, I can see that we have moved about 15.625. So, and that's the nice thing about our tall target test is you can literally read the numbers and we've already broken down the decimals for you. Okay, so go to our website, go under tools, and you'll see correction factor calculator. And it's very simple. You're going to go down and you're going to see the video that I just made. But then we're going to move down below that and you're going to see these boxes. Fill them up. First box, how far did you physically shoot this or measure it? So this was 49.3889. Let me plug it in. Okay. Then you're gonna, underneath the next box, put in how many dial minutes you physically dialed or mills, whatever you're using, so 30. And then it's going to automatically give me what's called expected point of impact. The expected point of impact is 15.5134. That's what the solver or the program is expecting your travel of your turret to be. Then you're gonna put in the actual point of impact. That's the one we measured, which was 15.625. Plug that in, 15.625, and this program automatically calculates your site scale vertical correction factor, which in this case is 0.9929. So that information goes in your site scale vertical on your ballistic solver, whether it's applied ballistics or if you're running the uh, Vortex Fury 5000, which is also applied ballistics, or you're running one of the SIG Kilos, which is also applied ballistics. It's the same solver, just has a different face. So that goes in sight scale vertical. That allows you to correct for any error that the scope's gonna have, and it really makes a difference, especially at long range. All right, so this was another good downrange tip from James at Barber Creek. This is a correctional factor sight scale vertical test for your scope. Thanks for joining us.